Ohanes Zendigo Youth has given DSS 48 hours to arrest Asai Dokubo over open threat on Ndigbo. Yeah, so the threat uh, has become, uh, become a national issue. Uh, the statement that uh, uh, Asai Dokubo made against the Igbos is becoming unbearable. Okay, one of them is that uh, uh, if not for the British, that he himself would have been selling Igbos the way his father sold the Igbos in the past, calling the Igbos slave. Okay, and that is a very, very terrible situation, ter terrible statement coming from him. And he's still saying that his men are the people fighting terrorism in the Southeast and he's going to deal with them the more. And coming out to say that Nam the Kano should not be released. So this guy, he looks more like what some people are saying, that this guy looks more like he's, he's been paid to come against the Igbos from the south south end. Okay. Uh for me, Asari Dokubo is becoming the MC of Law more of Fijo Land or uh, of the South South working against the Igbos from the South South. Why MC Lomo and the people are working against the Igbos from the Southwest? This coordinated attack against the Igbos need to be stopped. It needs to be stopped. So because of the denigrating statements uh, and the threats that Asai Dokubo has given, uh, the organization Dibbo Youth has given DSS 48 hours to arrest him and prosecute him because of his threat against the Igbos. And it's not, it's not going to be treated likely anymore. The Ohanese Youth Council, OIC, the youth wing of the Southeast Apex Social Cultural Group, Ohanese Ndigbo, worldwide, has accused the President Bola led administration of sponsoring terrorism against the Igbos in Nigeria. Yes, this was made known by the National President of the Hanese Youth Council, OIC, Comrade Igbayaka, O Igbayaka, while speaking to the newsmen in Abuja on Thursday. The group called the attention of the general public to a viral video of Niger Delta militants leader Asai Dokubo and his provocative statement against the Igbo few days after meeting with Abbasanjo. The statement reads in part, recall that in a recent video clip that uh, has gone viral on social media, the notorious ex-militant Asai Dokubo was seen threatening to kill, exterminate, and murder all Igbos wherever they are found, just a few days after being hosted at Aso Rock Villa by President Bola Metinu. Now, as we have waited patiently after 48 hours of Asai Dokubo's threat to kill the Igbos, where with fierce ambition has displayed, as displayed in the said video with AK-47 rifles, it is most unfortunate that the said Asai Dokubo is yet to be apprehended and or prosecuted by the state security services, the DSS. Without missing words, Indigo are quite convinced that Asai Dokubo's visit to Asurok, Asurok Villa is an orchestrated meeting to further the ugly marginalization of the Igbos and subsequently stamp them out of existence as well as ensuring that every perceived political opponent is eliminated, the Boyacard view. It is obvious that the effrontery, effrontery and all the boldness of the Asai Dokubo to have threatened the Igbos while brandishing hard military wares and or weaponry like AK-47 rifle is clearly smacked of a strong secret approver of Mr. President Bola Ametinubu. And that could be true. The above is a vivid signpost to a secret agenda by Mr. President against the Igbo Christians through the clan called Asari Dokubo. In our experience and to our knowledge that Asari Dokubo is a Muslim like Mr. President Bolaime Tunubu and the fears of Muslim Muslim ticket by the Christians is actually 
for the avoidance of elimination of Igbo Christians, which Mr. President, instead of assuaging such fears, has rather commissioned Asari Dokovo with all the paraphernalia uh, and all requisite protection of the federal government to intensify the fears and murder the Igbos, Comrade Boyaka asserted. If Indigo wait for another 48 hours without Asari Dokovo being arrested, and or prosecuted for acts of terrorism and be jailed, Indigo will be constrained to have no other option than to go to gather all forms of sophisticated weaponry for their self-defense to avoid being stamped out of existence in their prime in their prime by agents of darkness called Asai Dokubo at the support and or behest of President Bola Tunubu, the statement added. That is it. It's just getting too much of a side of cover. That is the truth. And exactly what the comedy boy is saying here, and, uh, you know, uh, and indicting the president for this. Okay, a side of has been making derogatory statements against the Indigos for a very long time. And now that uh, uh, Tinubu has been made the president, a side visited and addressed the country in the state press house of uh, Asoro with a... Uh, coat of arm behind him, meaning that he has gotten the support of the president, he has gotten the support of federal government against the Igbos, and he's, he's making statements of killing all the Igbos wherever he sees them, and that Nam the Kano should not be released, and if not for British, that he would have been selling the Igbos the way his father sold the Igbos as slaves. What, what kind of statement is all of that? How? Where and where did all of that come from? And 48 hours or more down the line, President has knelt with all the criticisms coming from all parts of Nigeria. Balatinubu and, and, and his people have they have not condemned the statement, they have not called aside the cover to order. Nothing has happened from the state house Abuja. So meaning that they commissioned for that meeting between Asai Dokobo and Tinubu. Is a secret meeting where um, Asai Dokobo must have been commissioned to attack the Igbos from the south-south, while the Yorubas will attack the Igbos from the southwest, and And it is quite unfortunate. This is a very terrible situation that Igbos are finding themselves, and it's obvious that nobody is going to come to their aid. And that is why that the Hanese uh, uh, Youth Congress, that is the youth wing of the Hanese Igbo, is now saying, that the government need to do some DSS must arrest him within 48 hours and then prosecute him and jail him for denigrating and speaking evil against the Igbos and not just speaking evil, planning to kill the Igbos and annihilate them and stamp them off the surface of the earth. Because as I document made his threat with AK-47 rifle in his hand, how he's going to kill the Igbos. So he needs to be arrested. If not, it means that it is Mr. President's plan to attack the Igbos, both from southwest and from south south, and to kill them and annihilate them. And so, what the Hanese youth is saying is that if after 48 hours DSS fails to arrest Asari Dokubo and question him, they will have no option but also to organize and gather all forms of weaponry at their disposal to protect themselves and secure themselves to avoid being stamped out of their own uh, land by Asai Dokubo, who is actually a notorious militant. In fact, he's no longer an ex-militant. He's a full-time existing militant. And this is their position. Okay? This is their position. So, somebody is saying here, say, why are you both people more like cow? Why are you saying that? Eh? Idiot of the highest order, you are a cow, not even... So people just make stupid statements. You just you say something and you just you just start insulting people. I don't like that. So your entire generation will be mad and will move all time. Okay? Jobless idiotic fat man Asari uh Dokubo is threatening the Igbos. The zombie calabari fool is castigating Nam the Kano. Let him come out in the open and threaten any Igbo person and they will deal with him. In the language he understands. Yes, that is true. Pray not to see him else. That is the end of your life. Because he is very deadly. 
it's not like noise makers like your people can you imagine so he's very deadly so he's deadly towards the igbos what has the igbos done to him does he know that the igbos can fight can they can they can protect themselves can he face the igbos hey i just put it aside of Cuba. all this noise is because nigeria is not a country even the military is only but a written document without being in existence else the military itself itself is the one that should have arrested him exactly my brother who is answering one person in Igbo land will kill him without any other person's help he will he he, he will soon kill him kill himself okay someone that came into your such instances to kill you people like flies yet you could not see him to kill no my no uh, no no be, no be don't worry i said don't worry, just make him out he didn't come there to kill them okay that uh someone that is using that he thinks he can use to cause problem it will come back to him what the constantinople government with the Cuba fighting Igbo people not be your kinsman again let your unknown government go carry him now can you imagine Ah, so when I see some comments, it just pains my heart, man. So have you guys arrested the unknown government killing your people like chicken? How many of you have condemned the the perpetual stay at home? Eh? Karma will visit you anytime soon. Don't mind the fools. Don't worry. Mm. The people are just against the Igbos. I don't know why. I don't know why. I just leave it there. Let's have your comment. Everybody making comments here, I see making comments against the Igbos. So what has the Igbos done to Nigeria to warrant this kind of hatred and this kind of annihilation? It's quite unfortunate.